Hi, it's Jody here from Let's Create Studios. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I wanted to sh share with you a new card kit that I just made, a really pretty one, along with some alternate cards that you can make with a stamp set. And I have three really cool tips. So stay till the end for the tip on how to use your label punch to create, which is obviously just one size, to create multiple layers for your tags. Um, these are the alternate cards that I'm going to show you how to make with the stamp set that comes in this kit. Here's a little tip. Just as I was making this video, I stuck my finger in my ink pad and then onto my card. So I just punched a couple of little blossoms um, to cover up that ink. So those weren't really part of the design, but they're okay. I kept them white neutral so not to pull your eye up into that corner too much. And this is the other card, a really simple card using the stamp set and the matching inks that coordinate with this kit. This is the, st the stamp set that comes in the kit. It's an all occasion um, car stamp set that's really pretty flowers. It's got happy birthday, all sorts of sentiments. And I'll just do a real quick flip through. If you wanna see the card cards and all the uh, details of the card, you can visit my website at jodydeering.com or stampinup.com and take a look at YouTube channel I should say and you can see all of the uh, the cards in there okay so you're gonna make 20 cards two little guys really pretty and then two medium size ones these are the note cards this is one of my tips here so the all of these beautiful embellishments are already all cut for you this die cut cut is so intricate and look at this pretty card so this is my first tip, is to take your, any kind of a, I just got this from the dollar store, but you can just take a piece of glass or plastic or an old plate, anything. Get an old paintbrush, just, you can pick these up from the dollar store too. Put your multi-purpose glue out and then just put a little tiny bit on, on the tip of your paintbrush or an old makeup brush. And then you're just going to paint on to this really fine layer, a thin layer of the adhesive, and then you place it onto your card. So I was really excited. I think I, I'm sure other people are doing that, but I discovered that myself. So very, very cool tip for me. <laughs> um, here are some cards. So those are the cards. Another thing that doesn't come with this kit, but you might want to invest in it is the is the what's this called Winco Stella? I love Winco Stella. You can just add a little bit of glitter to your flowers on this card. You don't have to, but it really makes it pretty. And this is a really simple card. And then you also get to make these larger cards with the matching envelopes. I stamped the back of my envelope as well. Um, the Winco Stella looks really pretty on this yellow color, lemon lime twist. Okay, so those are the cards that you get in the kit. I want with this great block and an ink pad. So the ink pad is basic gray, and the card, the colors in the card kit for the sample cards we're making today also coordinate with this kit. Okay, so let's get started. So this first card, <clears throat> we're going to got everything ready, cut and ready to go. We're going to stamp our flower and we're using the new, my new very favorite color called Berry Burst. And I'm going to put something underneath here so they don't get in all over my table. So you're going to just stamp three flowers randomly and then three leaves. We're using the same, the Lemon Lime Twist again. Just kind of do some filler leaves. And then get your, you can use your aqua painter, a paintbrush that you pick up from the dollar store. Squeeze a little bit of white. Wait, squeeze a little bit of water. That's why I put this plastic down. And then you're just going to pull your color. This is a really quick and easy watercoloring technique. 
not too much water just a little dab and then when that dries you can you can um, go back and um, add more or move it around some more okay so we'll set that aside to dry that'll dry very quickly now water is the enemy of card making so make sure you get rid of your plastic right away and the greeting on this card is I think you're wonderful so we're going to stamp that down in the corner second time's a charm okay here's my tip with the ribbon take your ribbon is this dry enough one second and then we'll do the rib ribbon trick okay I think this is dry enough so we're gonna tape this glue this to the back just put some Tombow multi-purpose glue the measurement for this is one and a half by five and a quarter and it goes, it's going to be layered onto our card base. So here's our trip trick with the ribbon. Take your snail and just run it all the way down your ribbon. And then you can get a nice tight edge, right? Just butt it right up against your cardstock there and then flip it over here to the back. And then you're going to pop this up with dimensionals. Someone was asking me why you have multiple layers on a, on a card, and this is why. It's so that you can have your ribbon tucked around. Plus it gives it extra dimension. Okay, and so that layer goes on there. And then we're just going to add a couple of our rhinestones randomly. One there, one there, and one there. Isn't that pretty? And then on the inside of your card, you can add your insert, the uh, four by five and a quarter, and then you can stamp your flower with a leaf. And I also, I would recommend, well, I love to stamp this flower as well onto my envelopes. Okay, so that's one alternate card using the stamp set. And then for this second card, now I'm not gonna build the whole card right now on video. I'll just show you how to put it together. Go to my website at jodydeering.com and you can see all the measurements and uh, a video or some pictures on how to put this together. But it's a really simple card. You have your layers. So you have the white card, uh, the thick white card stock. And then we've got the Berry Burst designer paper with the Berry Burst card stock layered here. And this is my tip for the video. So you take your label punch and whatever if you're labeling it with cardstock layering it with cardstock you punch it out of cardstock or um, in this case I'm using the gold because I'm keeping the theme to match the card kit so you're going to punch out your label and then you're going to cut it in half right down the middle just use your eye you don't have to measure it just approximately and then we're going to stamp the greeting that I think you're wonderful and then we're gonna punch it out you see you can't label those you can't layer those exactly as is so here's my trick take your glue dots and put your glue dots three glue dots one Two, and I'm just putting them on the top right now and then I'm going to layer it like that and then do the same thing at the bottom take your glue dots apply them So you could, like I said, layer with any card, color card stock. And just eyeball it again. Give it a nice outer layer. Isn't that pretty? So that can go on here. You can either attach that with dimensionals. On my thanks card, I just glued it right down. And then for my 
for your flour, you're going to take your flour punch, this is called our pansy punch, and you're going to punch two flowers. And then for the center, you're going to punch a little, what have I got here, a half inch, you can use any circle that you have, half inch punch, and then also punch a little bit of the green here for your leaves. So you're going to cut, I don't know, what do I cut, probably two. So layer your flowers, take your bone folder and, where's my bone folder? can't find my bone folder so I'll use my, my paintbrush. Just give your flowers a little curl. Move that card out of the way. Actually, I've got one right here, so I'll just show you here. It's all finished. All I did was I just layered, put a little glue here, layered it, glued the center, glued the leaves, and this gets added to the card. Isn't that pretty? That's just another way to um, use your stamp sets that come in these kits. All right, so thanks for stopping by, and please visit my website at jodydeering.com. Uh, leave a comment if you like this video, share it with your friends, and you're going to want to pick up this soft seam card kit. It is a fantastic kit. It's available in the 2017-19 catalog.